Cappy, what's up, G? Welcome to my channel. You know what I just realized, Cappy? We got the captain and the sergeant. Got a whole army, whole battalion over here. Uh, you could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, but uh, I just realized I call you Cappy all the time. So yeah, the captain. You could be eating Captain Crunch, or you could be on a cruise or something like that. Or you running shit, Capricorn. But let's keep going, okay? Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Cappy, yes, I'm here to do your October slash general slash love reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle Cappy, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn. Get no fit nuts. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video, but it's still currently under construction. If you find that the content is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit that alley. You'll be back in Tarleton. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you, Cappy. Capricorn, you or someone else is going to try to brush, sweep something under the rug, Capricorn. Don't let them get away with this shit or cross watcher, okay? So, like, if you don't uh, hold their feet to the fire, right, and not saying, I feel like you can, shit, you are the devil, you do run hell. So, you know how to just singe the hairs and not really burn the feet. You know, that's what they're showing me, like, you know how to roast them where they're tender and not all crispy and shit. Hold their feet to the fire, uh, Capricorn. You are in charge of fire, even though you're not a fire sign, that's what they're showing me. So, it could be a fire sign. I said Sagittarius. Yeah, uh, this could involve a fire sign, but somebody's going to let something ride as long as you do. Or you're going to let something ride as long as someone else does. So if someone never apologizes and act like some shit didn't happen, it's because you didn't, like, bring that shit up. Shit. It's, I mean, that's why. And they're going to just keep taking it as long as you do. I do feel like uh, you doing this Capricorn or Crosswatcher, eventually someone folds. And they're like, okay. I'm sorry, or yeah, I did it, or I know we can't move forward until we discuss this. You're, uh, I feel like you need to, uh, some of y'all, honestly, Capricorn need to switch up on somebody that did you wrong, or a cross-watcher. Like, they, you don't need to keep that same uh, loving energy you've been giving this person, or this whatever the fuck you've been giving them, gee, some leeway or something. You need to roll that rope up around your hand and shit, make that leash real fucking tight, G. Don't let up on that shit, because I feel like this person, it's not, you know how they say we teach people how to treat us and shit. This is this type of shit where somebody may have done something to you and you know about it. Either they don't know that you know or they do know that you know. But you not bringing it up makes this person feel like they can keep doing that shit. And fuck that. Or you feel like that. And fuck that shit, G. Fuck that. Yeah, I say you roast them tall. Shit. Let's move on, Gabby. Let's see what's up. I don't know. Somebody think you, I don't, I dare I say punk. Uh, Capricorn or a cross watcher, whoever resonates with this shit. And I don't feel like you are. I feel like you expect someone to, to keep it a buck like you do. You know what I mean? It's like, no, nah, I ain't gonna say shit. I'm gonna see if they say shit or, you know what I mean? Try to pay me back or admit to something. And they don't, Capricorn. Okay? So you are uh, the grown up here or a cross watcher, whoever. Okay? So you're gonna have to say something or you're gonna have to make the first move or you're gonna have to do something in order to like show somebody how the fuck you get down. Nah, that shit ain't cool with me. What you thought? What? Oh, okay. Give me something for Kathy now. Yeah, I'll chop that motherfucker off. I'll chop that whole foot off. Fuck roasting it, okay? Fuck holding your feet to the fire. I will get like Kathy Bates on your shit, boy or girl. Ooh, eat Kathy. I like it, though. Somebody may break their ankle, so be careful. I heard break a leg, but not literally, Capricorn. Fuck. Somebody may accidentally chop something off. Or it's just a little baby getting circumcised. That, that's a horrible depiction, but you could have just had a baby boy, you know, and you know. So, okay. Let's move on. This is somebody about to split up or about to split, about to leave something because they're not getting what they want here. Someone's not being authentic. Someone's not showing love, support, or this could be your job, Capricorn. It's like, I don't feel like I'm appreciated at, at this place, so I'm about to dip out. I will no longer be working here, or I'm something. Severing ties is what I heard. This could be a divorce, a split up, but it's because somebody been doing some shit. 
Okay? So maybe that's why I said somebody eventually said something. Like, you know what? I'm done. You know what I mean? I thought you'd eventually learn, catch on, motherfucker, something. But you're not. Or you have caught on and you think this shit is cool. Uh, and I feel you on that, Capricorn, or Cross Watcher. Because it's my pet peeve. It's like if I tell somebody, like, I'm doing something or this is what I'm doing right now or whatever, and they keep doing it. It's like either you uh, don't have no respect for me, right? Or you don't give a fuck about what I'm doing. It's one or the other. You know, if I tell you not to do something and you keep doing it, either you don't give a fuck about me or you, you know what I mean? Or you just have no respect at all, G. And what the fuck I say? Bet. I got it. I can't fuck with you, so I'm about to dip. I'm about to split. That's what this is. Some of you guys are going to come to the conclusion of that. Like, this motherfucker just don't care or give a fuck. Apparently. Some of y'all could be waiting for someone to do something, Capricorn. It's like you may have given someone a timeline or maybe you didn't, but in your mind you did or cross watcher. Like this motherfucker got till tomorrow to say some shit or it's a fucking rap, G. And they may not say shit, you know? So if it's a fucking rap tomorrow, make it really be a fucking rap tomorrow. This person gonna learn, Laverne, or you will. Or you will. Somebody need to put their foot down, G. I just don't chop it off. Capricorn, okay? Misery! <laughs> yeah, somebody name could be Kathy or... James or Paul or what was Annie? Yeah. Annie, are you okay? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody named could be Michael. Shit, I don't know. But give me one. Give me. Look, dancing. Michael Jackson. Ugh. Somebody could be a Virgo out here just because I heard Annie, are you okay? And then somebody start dancing. Somebody could be a, a choreographer out here. Somebody does, I'm her dancing with the stars, break a leg. So shout out to anybody who dancing with the stars. Do well, people. I don't watch that shit, but shit, break a leg, not literally, but hey, right? That's what this is, too. Uh, somebody's splitting up. Someone's going to get the axe, too, on a competition. This could be dancing with the stars or some shit like that. Or it's a couple splitting up. Somebody likes to dance around. That's what I was saying before, though, Cappy. Somebody like to dance around shit and act like shit, you know? So it's like, say you and somebody had an argument, you and your spouse, and then they come home, and it's like, what's for dinner? Oh, I was thinking we could go out and get some ice cream, and did, right? Did, right? And you sitting there like, motherfucker, I almost chopped your leg off last night, G. You're going to act like this shit didn't happen? It's like this type of shit. Maybe somebody just don't want no problems with you, Capricorn, but something still needs to be discussed. It, I don't feel like it needs to get volatile or confrontational or, or anything, but something cannot ride. Y'all can't keep dancing around this issue, okay? What the hell, Gabby? Some of you guys feel like you don't have a partner in something, business partner, friend, uh, family member relationship it's like we supposed to be on the same team and shit you know what i mean and it's like we're not or on the same page or something like that it's a couple out here about to split this is about to split so they haven't yet i don't know if they're supposed to or not or shit somebody getting cut from a group a team something a job something but this could be a competition. So the, it would be the same thing, though. So let's say this group, this this Dancing with the Stars, using this as an example, and they get judged this first dance, and they're like, you guys could have did a little better. Your jump could have been a little bit higher. Her twirl could have been a little bit twirlier and shit. You know what I mean? But other than that, you guys did okay. They know they almost got cut that night is what this is. So the next time they come out, they better twirl better and jump higher and shit. I don't know if they do. You know what I mean? They didn't get the axe completely, so maybe somebody improves on something here, Capricorn, something is better once someone points out uh, what the problem is. Like maybe once people discuss something, it can be fixed. Somebody may be staying silent about something, Capricorn, and this isn't helping. And that's why this shit keep going on for some of y'all, okay? Whatever this is. Shit, this is the world's tiniest violin, but it's a little baby playing it. So we can't really say she playing victim, okay, or causing drama. A kid can't do that. You know what I mean? And if they do, they parents, they learned it from their parents, a mama or a daddy or somebody, okay? This is like talent here, a prodigy here. This damn sure somebody getting cut from something, though. It feel like Dancing with the Stars or, uh, what's that, uh, old girl's husband's name off of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? But his fine ass. Sorry, ma'am, but your husband fine. Uh, Mauricio. Yeah, I don't know. You may be getting that, the, the accent if you ain't been cut already or somebody. I don't know. Or uh, Britney Spears' sister. Ain't she on that shit too? Uh, somebody may be getting cut off that shit. Okay? This could be her. 
this could be, you know, one of the sisters happy. It looked like Britney little ass. Like, that's what you get. I don't know if they not <laughs> cool. Let me not say that. But this is Britney. Like, yeah, bitch, I'm the talented one. Oh. Uh, allegedly. Okay. I'm just saying. Somebody name could be Jamie. Okay. <laughs> or Britney or some shit. I don't know. Somebody's getting removed from a group or uh, a band. Somebody, or they're about to. If somebody doesn't improve on something, it don't even have to be that shit. Band dancing with the stars, none of that shit. But some, somebody damn sure about to split up if they don't get their skills the fuck up to party. If you don't start, you know what I mean, acting like you part of this group, this family, this job, whatever. You know, somebody could be getting writ written up at work is what this is. This is a, a verbal warning, possibly. Ooh, we happy. You could be verbally warning your kids. Like, I'm going to cut that damn game off. That's what this shit is. I'm going to cut that game off, okay? And you won't be able to play anything. You won't be playing outside. You won't be playing that game. Do it again. Get a bad grade again, okay? But this ain't going to keep going on, says Capricorn Mommy, Daddy, or Cross Watcher. Yeah, for you blow your whole shit, okay? Ooh, Cappy. Yeah, and you mean it. Oh, yeah, some of y'all talking to your kids. Shit, you scared me, Cappy. Shit, I'm grown, but on some real shit. It's like put fear. Y'all put fear into some kid heart. Okay, I don't know what they did. They didn't do some chores. Uh, they danced, you know, acting silly and not doing what you told them to do, playing around th and all that. Some of y'all uh, snap on your babies and not like, you know, in a horrible way, but shit, they, they shape up. Shit, they do. Shit, you see how her posture got good. Like, okay, mommy, okay, dad. Shit, now. Ooh, hey, Cappy. You running a tight shit uh, this October. Now, if this is a relationship, it's like, shit, it's too much drama. Uh, some man may be causing drama and some woman ready to split with some man here or is about to leave some man because he just dramatic or someone it could be the other way around some woman dramatic and a man about to split from some woman but I feel like somebody wants to work on this before it gets to that point in whatever scenario put one on the about to split or someone's yeah partner Ship. This could be business partners splitting up or friends. But one is just, you know what I mean? It's too much. I can't work with nobody like that or fuck with nobody like this. It's just too much. Yeah, somebody could be real snobby or bratty or uh, like real, uh, you know, people like, I need two ice cubes, not square shaped, oval shaped. Uh, like this type of shit. I want eight limes. Squeeze them all in. Do not mix. Put the limes on the side, but still bring me the rinds. It's like this type of person. Like, damn, motherfucker. Like this type of shit. Somebody could be very particular about some shit. And that's why somebody leaving somebody too. Like, bitch, I just brought the whole. It's like somebody just bringing a whole line with the rind. Like, bitch, you cut it. Okay? I'm done with this shit. Okay? They just put the vodka in the bottle, a cup, some ice. Bitch, if you wanted the shares, uh, Shave square. Here's a knife, bitch. Here's an ice pick. A line. You do it your fucking self. That's what somebody's gonna say. Somebody gonna lose their whole top out here, okay? Yeah, somebody acts like a big baby. That's why. Somebody may need to stop drinking and stop hitting the bottle. Yeah, it could be that too. You know? Ooh, hey, Kathy. What's this that fell on the floor? A group of kids ride. Uh oh, -uh, this is a really good school. A group of kids riding in it to school. We know it's the DU bus. Yeah, some kids about to be kicked off the bus though. Like you, two seconds from getting kicked off this motherfucker. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back because it fell on the floor, and I do take it. I take those reverse. Some of y'all kids are about to get. Uh, some of your kids may break an arm or a leg. Literally though, Capricorn. So I don't know. Prepare for that because I don't even know how to tell you to. Unless you need to tell them, put your helmet and your knee pads and your elbow pads on skateboarding and riding your bike. You may need to tell them that, or it's just a kid breaks an arm or a leg or something. Some of you guys have kids that are into like are performing arts and musician. Uh, you know, they play an instrument and shit, and you tell them to break a leg. They're like in a band. Some of them travel. Uh, and they playing like, or they sing in a choir or orchestra, or you do. Some of you guys are on tour, but I feel like something's still about to split. So what is this? A fan. Yeah, somebody more popular in the group. Somebody about to go solo is what this is. Who got more fans? I mean, sorry to be like that, but that's what it say, Kathy, for entertainers out here. Like more feedback. So it's like, but it's like a group or people are grouped together or there's a genre or something where people are grouped together. People are starting to look like, well, who has the most fans? 
whoever has the, the least amount of fans, that's who we cutting. That's fucked up. This sound like the industry, G. Okay? They not even basing it on y'all music no more. They're like, how many Twitter people? How many, you know, this type of shit. Like, oh, wow. Uh, how many uh, stars, how many celebrities do they hang out with? Something real, like, sn snobby out here, Capricorn, or you are, or somebody, or some field, or some group. I don't know. They snobby as fuck, G. That's why that motherfucker threw that line on the table and shit. Like, bitch, you cut that shit. Shit, you squeeze them all out and whatever the fuck. Shit. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys who are going to be, who work outside, and it's been really hot lately, you're going to get a nice breeze in the next two to seven days. So somebody's going to be working outside for like a whole week. I don't know, say you work somewhere and they put you outside instead of inside. When you're put outside, there's a nice breeze that day. It won't be that hot for you. Or shit, you prepare. You're like, well, if I got to sit outside, I'm going to have my fan, my ice water, all my shit. Uh, if I got to be out here. Somebody does work in a wood factory or wood shop or some shit like that. I feel like it's going to be a cool day. Cool job. Some of you guys have really cool jobs. Somebody's also cool with splitting up. Like, that's cool. <laughs> like, you, somebody doesn't care anymore. They call, somebody causes so much drama that somebody's, like, threatening to leave or whatever. Somebody's like, man, I'm cool with that shit if you want to. So, this break down to the nine. Separation. Get the fuck on there. It could be a Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius, or you, Cappy. Somebody like, and? Shit. So? Oh, wow. Someone's trying to keep a secret that they split up, too. But it's too much shit around, like, people know or something. Put one on these dancing people. Money. This damn show. Are, do y'all dance for money for Dancing with the Stars? Or somebody could be a stripper, right? Is what this is, too. Uh, it's also giving me escort energy as well, but we could call them lady of the night or whatever, but I'm picking that up as well. But I do see someone also dancing for charity, raising money for some kids or something like that. So that's what's up. Uh, maybe that's what y'all do it for. I don't know. Some about dancing with the stars or somebody is, uh, like really like, uh, you could be going to a club or a party with a celebrity. You could be one Capricorn or cross watcher. I got, uh, cancer out here a lot. Uh, Gemini, Capricorn which is you, and Aquarius, yes. Uh, Capricorn, your money look good. If you make, if you work with your uh, lover, like your husband, wife, or whatever, significant other, y'all making money, G. Y'all doing so fucking good in October. Money looks deliciously well, okay? It does. I feel like y'all are going to be going to some, uh, this is like black tie events and things like that. This is purchasing tickets for like uh, charities, dinners, foundation shit. Y'all real fancy Capricorn, okay? You really are. Somebody out here just blowing money though, okay? Somebody just blowing money out here, so I don't advise that. Because it say somebody about to get uh, axed. So somebody may be uh, in a position right now where they think they're going to stay there forever and they're blowing a bunch of money and it don't last, G. Somebody blowing some, uh, what do they call that shit? Oh, man, what is that shit called? Like bonus, bonus signing, like some money to be signed to something, but you haven't produced anything yet. And I don't feel like that shit's yours. I feel like that shit for promotion, for flyers, and uh, you know what I'm saying? All this, whatever the fuck they do now, shit, I don't know. But it's something like that. Or for you to like produce something somebody spent all that shit on clothes concerts all types of shit somebody out here going to broke uh capricorn you or somebody else g they i'm talking about they spending that shit fast and they know they are too someone also knows if they split up or get a divorce from someone that they're not going to have any money you know what i mean like whatever the settlement is or some alimony someone may receive that's all they get is this amount a month someone's about to be put on an allowance so they know they can't spend like they used to as well somebody may start pimping out their kid like this like some what i don't even want to go there but what the hell not pimping them out like that but it's like trying to make a kid an actor now or a model you know like like to bring in some income or some shit like that somebody out here is it feel like a sweatshop is what this feel like, okay? I don't know. Somebody could be working. They got kids in the sweatshop and shit, and the parents okay with that shit or something. I see kid stars out here where the parents just taking all that baby money. Or this was you, Capricorn. You could have been a child star. Your parents took all your money, G. 
Okay? Ooh, wee. They having a good time, too. You was just working your little ass off. Look at that. They're like, break a leg, kid. Yeah. Okay. Capricorn, if you are in the spotlight, I do see you having fans that, that wish you well. They cheer for you. They root for you. They support you. This is people donating to you, tipping you, and all type of shit. There's something you do very well. You're very, uh, or your business or something. You're getting more business or something you're doing is going to bring you more business. Uh, you're doing very good in that department. Maybe that's why you're blowing cash, okay? But just be careful. Unless you got it to blow, shit, fuck it. You know? You wear, did I not say you was holding somebody's feet to the fire, Cappy? And I said, you are in charge of fire. You wear these on your feet. Those, those melt off first. I'm telling you. Somebody gonna hold somebody's feet to the fire, G. So this could be somebody, uh, like, finally pointing something out to someone. This could be you, Capricorn, finally bringing something up to someone that other people are scared to say to somebody. It's like, I'm gonna hold their feet to the fire. I don't give a fuck if it caused drama or not. You fucked up, you did, you know? And this is somebody who's been just kind of breezing through, making money some type of easy way. Somebody really has to put in some work to do something now, Capricorn. It could be because Gemini just had this. It could be because you step up on the scene. Yeah, Gemini is out here. It could be because you're a Scorpio or, uh, yeah, Aquarius, Capricorn. You out here a lot. You definitely hold someone's feet to the fire or someone is holding yours to the fire. But it's a it's healthy competition, though. That's what I'm picking up with this is healthy competition. But somebody been breezing through and shit, and it was like they thought that they that there was nobody else that could come and do whatever it is that, that they could do better. And I feel like uh, somebody put their money where their mouth is, G, okay? And they smoke. You ever, I don't know what, uh, they're showing me one of those, I don't know what show that was where they were playing a violin and they play so fast that it starts smoking and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like they hitting that shit and that motherfucker starts smoking. Yes, G, holding somebody's feet to the fire. Somebody out here is really good at something and it's making other people panic, G. Okay. It's either you, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, uh, Aquarius, Virgo. Okay? Somebody about to blow some money on some nice shoes, too. Or something for, this could be tap shoes. Uh, so it has something to do with what you do, Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dancers or, or play basketball. And it's like, I need good fucking shoes or I need to get, you know what I mean? Take care of my feet and shit or something like that. Whatever it is you do, Capricorn, you have to take care of something else in order to maintain this. It could be your mind, G, or your body. You know what I mean? I got to stay fit in order to do whatever the fuck it is. It's making other people want to stay fit too, G. Yeah. Because you killing the competition out here, Capricorn. Whatever it is that you do or cross watcher. Yeah, Gemini had that shit. So uh, you could have Gemini in your chart. They, was, they were the champ. Uh, so they won something. Somebody also thought it was uh, okay to make money by stepping on other people. Somebody about to step on, on this motherfucker. Whoever this is, I'm telling you, it makes me feel like somebody thought some shit was easy. Like they just, like they was just going to breeze through this motherfucker and wasn't going to be no competition or nothing. Somebody about to uh, make somebody work hard for this shit to maintain a spot or to stay in something. It feels like healthy competition, though, uh, Capricorn. I like it, but I like healthy competition, though. You know what I mean? Especially if there's good uh, contenders, contestants and shit. You know what I mean? It's like, well, shit. Challenge! Yeah, somebody could be a tap dancer as well. For sure. But shit, I like it, uh, Cappy. So somebody could have, uh, there could have been someone where they, like, held a title. Right? And nobody, like I said, wanted to go up against this person. Or like, you know, I'll try. I'll dance, and I'll dance with them or I'll whatever. Cause I'll be their competitor or whatever the fuck. It's like someone finally s says something. Remember how in the beginning I was like, somebody needs to speak up and say something and don't let go of the leash. Keep the leash tighter or somebody going to keep thinking they can keep doing this shit. Yeah, somebody's like, nah, I'll, I'll do a, I'll battle you, right? Say this could be a rap battle and somebody kept, they done defeated everybody in the rap battle. I'm using this as an example. Somebody's like, nah, I'm here. They're like, is there anybody else? It's somebody in the back that's like, I'll do that shit. I will battle his ass. And I feel like they kill that shit, G. They kill it. I told you the violin string starts smoking and shit, okay? That whoever this is that was dominating something can't, can't do it anymore, but they weren't really that good anyway. 
they weren't. I'm gonna keep it so real. It's like it wasn't. It's not in their blood, or they're not passionate about it. So someone who's passionate about it and they're new to the scene or some shit like that is about to kill this shit, Capricorn. You better get that shit, Cappy. Okay, you better get that shit. Damn sure it's uh, divine counterparts out here that are just naturally talented with that 11. For sure, G. Okay? You were born with this shit. Some of y'all been doing something since you were young. Or you're multi-talented. Some of you guys can sing, dance, play an instrument, all types of shit. Build things. Some of you guys work with your hands or your feet are your money makers. It's something that you uh, were born with that's your money maker, Capricorn. Okay? It works for you. It's connected to a body part. Okay, that you need to take care of. Don't break it. Don't chop it off. Don't scrape it. Don't sprain it. Don't twist it. None of that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this uh, skeleton foot right here. You probably can't, but that's where this it is. Definitely breaking a foot or a leg, y'all. So be careful. Somebody falls down some stairs too. This is also uh, some fan chasing somebody and they get fucked up. That's what they get though. Let the man or the woman. Go make money or eat or whatever. It's like a celebrity trying to go buy some food or something and a fan running after them and shit. Fuck around and break their leg. That's what the fuck you get. Leaving people alone. Shit. Or ask. Excuse me, ma'am or sir. Do you mind if I take a picture with you or can you sign? That's like somebody chasing somebody. There they are. I don't know. Or it's paparazzi. It's an old one. If it's paparazzi, it's an old ass man or woman that don't need to be running and shit with that camera and shit. Scarlet take a fucking tumble, G. If it's not an old ass person, uh, old ass paparazzi and shit, it's just some fan or somebody that know that they be stalking and shit. Looking, they fall or some shit. Or if someone loses access to somebody or some something. Moving on. State examination. Yeah, motherfuckers doing background checks on people now. Hell yeah. I told you somebody being judged, though, oh, in a competition, though. Fan favorite is what I heard. So this is like people, it's giving me like uh, American Idol and all dancing with the stars. Like, call it now and put your vote in for whatever the fuck, right? And this is like them tallying up shit, what the fans like or something. Some of y'all damn sure are in entertainment or something like that or do something with social media. Some of y'all work in the DMV and it's hot as fuck, G, or some factory and shit. And they got them industrial fans and shit. They need to, somebody getting paid and got y'all, I'm telling you, for like a sweatshop. It does. Uh, there's some owners and shit of a company that got, they have their employees working under poor conditions. And these motherfuckers just racking, uh, I'm talking about just bringing in the dollar shit. Got a nice air conditioned office. They can't pay to play the violin. And y'all, ooh, hey, okay, them people about to get in trouble. Whoever that is, some employees are going to complain or something, or they're not paying their employees, something like that, Capricorn, or some company ain't paying people and got them working hard as fucking shit, and they getting all the money. Yes, I'm like music and entertainment to me, but let's move on. Uh, what was this? 26. Yeah, control the temperature. So there's some type of, uh, something's rigged out here too, Capricorn. So if somebody gets too many likes, then someone turns, they dial something down. So the, so you don't get that many likes and it looks even. Like there's, it's something out here that's being like tampered with. Views, likes, uh, donations, uh, tips, streams, something like that. When somebody's doing very well, something's like uh, altered. So it's turned back down. Is what this is. Because this break down to the eight, which will be controlling something, the strength card. Yeah, they control the speed of something, how something goes, if it goes viral, uh, who it gets to, and all this other shit. So something out here is bullshit. Okay? Depending on how much money you have or who you know and all that. But we already know it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, somebody knows some, some important people out here. And that's how they're doing something. But I still feel like you outdo they ass, Capricorn. So somebody out here paying for, for uh, to be successful. Okay, paying to look like they're the best or some shit like that, and they really not. I feel like you're the one where uh, this is like where talent uh, counts, you know what I mean? When it usually doesn't, someone can't deny your talent, or you can't deny someone's talent. Missing you, 53, another eight. Something about a Leo out here, too. Yeah, somebody lose. Like, I don't really thought we had that shit in the bag. I don't think so. <laughs> so
somebody, it's, it's something about voting. So someone, I don't know, somebody, some of you guys could be in, uh, into politics, could be politicians or something like that. Uh, that's your thing, you know what I mean? And I, we all know something up with that shit as far as how shit go. But it's something with votes and all this other shit or people really putting their heart and soul into something. But somebody got more campaign money, someone has more, uh... People to endorse and, and all this other shit, endorsements and shit, filibusters. That's what all this shit is, G. Okay? And somebody like really feels like they can't be fucked with because of all that, but somehow somebody pop up, G, on the scene. Somebody pop up on the scene and don't need none of that shit, okay? It's undeniable. Like this person really is fill in the blank like it's in their blood gee somebody's gonna hold somebody's feet to the fire it's got to be you capricorn or it could be a leo aries sagittarius because they keep talking about a leo too yeah uh because they keep talking about it yeah i see a sad pisces and taurus gemini cancer or capricorn out here i feel like these are the ones that possibly lose so you could lose something capricorn or a cancer Okay, but I feel like majority of you, this is you, one and one. I feel like y'all kind of dominate something. Look at all them ones, Capricorn or a Scorpio, or you dead some shit when you come up. I'm telling you, violin string smoking. That's what they said. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know what show that is or a movie. When the person start playing the violin and they start playing, it could have been on Fresh Prince of Bel Air, some old stupid ass shit as a kid we watched. Where they started playing and they played so good that the, the strings popped eventually or caught on fire and shit. It's like this. You the shit, Cappy. Or somebody is out here. A Scorpio could be like a prodigy, a Capricorn, Aquarius. Someone is a star of, uh, I mean, someone is the child of a, a dead star and they are the prodigy of this person like they're gonna take up whatever their father or mother did since they passed away some kid is gonna grow up and do the same thing and somebody thought your kid wasn't gonna do that it's like somebody like well they're gone it's like somebody saying well they're out the game now they're they've gone on to glory and somebody got it it's like puffy son and shit Swear, this like Puffy Sun and shit. And everybody like, Puff getting old. Now we can take over. You allegedly, right? This type of shit. And here come little, uh, whatever the fuck that little kid name is. No disrespect. But that's what this shit is. Look at him grinning. Like, nah, it ain't over motherfuckers. Shit, I'm a cops. That's what this is. Okay? Somebody's kid is about to take over the empire when people thought because the emperor uh, retired, died, left or some shit, that now they were going to get it. No, the emperor's kid gets it. And then there's, a, or the empress's kid gets it. Uh, some shit like that. Or it's already been destined for somebody else here, Capricorn. A divine counterpart if it's not a kid. There's a divine masculine, divine feminine that's uh, been given a, a gift, a natural gift or talent and shit. That's about to kill every danger. Ain't enough money in the fucking world, okay? The violin strings smoking. Who the fuck? It ain't enough money in the world to, get, to teach somebody how to play where the violin strings start smoking. This kid was born with that shit. You were born with that shit. A star is born is what they said. Yeah, definitely could be an Aquarius. Somebody's having a, a Destiny's Child, they said. Yeah, somebody could be a Virgo as well. Or whatever the other members' uh, signs are. I'm sure they're one of them since they said that. Royal seal. I'll be damned. Who just had that? And I was like, somebody moving slow. I think it was Pisces that had that. Yeah, I have Pisces out here. You so some of you guys could be holding a Pisces feet to the fire, or a Pisces could be holding your feet to the fire. Because the three is over here too. Yeah. Uh somebody just dope as fuck. Or someone's a spiritualist or just very intuitive. Or something someone's a prodigy out here i'm telling you something about mob deep somebody can have a bunch of people behind them and shit they mob deep right got a lot of people like i said supporters and all this other shit behind them and somebody could be uh a one woman one man show and holding this motherfucker feet to the fire and they crew it's like well shit they're not challenge you and the whole mob i don't give a fuck how deep y'all mobbing who wanted with lean is what i heard yeah bringing down the house is what i heard uh queen latifah somebody's name could be charlene or some shit like that. But yeah, that's what I heard. Who wanted with Lean? Somebody could be on Lean and shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's no competition at all. That's why they all sweaty and shit or all fucked up or something. I don't know. Okay? But whatever this is, Capricorn, 
you were slow. It's giving me David and Goliath energy. Like nobody wanted to take Goliath down because he was a big ass bully and shit. And David came to bring his brother's lunch. Uh, and then they said, well, whoever can take down Goliath will pay off your taxes and shit. And David wanted to do it for his daddy and shit. You know what I mean? Like, man, my dad would love if I could pay off his taxes. I'll fight him. Like, fuck it, I'll do it, you know? But when people were slow to do it, right? The turtle and shit. But shit, the royal seal, that's King David. He put his feet to the fire, meaning Goliath's feet to the fire. Like, shit, I'm a beast on this fucking slingshot. Yeah, you must not know about me. Yeah, they keep talking about Beyonce or a Virgo or some shit like that, okay? Something. Somebody like, I'm a beast on this motherfucker, okay? Uh, David said, I have club bears, lions, and everything, and they were just coming after my sheep. Okay, they would. I'm a, I'm a, uh, 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 sheep herder by trade, says King David. You know, but I'm a beast with this slingshot, so I could probably take down Goliath if I could like get with bears and all this other shit. Sure, and smoke that motherfucker, G. Smoke that motherfucker, and got the money and was king. Is all I'm saying to you, G. Anyway, Cappy, that's been your reading. Like I said, Capricorn, it may or may not have resonated with every single Capricorn. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot, my name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at thegettonun.com. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.